Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Today I would like to introduce you to a very dangerous vulnerability also known as OWASP API Top 10 A6 Mass Assignment. That's a mouthful, I know, but here's what it means. So in my website, I can see that if I reset my wallet, this is what you see when you get there for the first time. My wallet will be recharged with a thousand cheese bucks. Then, of course, I have a button to reset my wallet. I can spend money to buy one cheese or I can get 100 cheeses. So the 100 cheese option is unavailable, of course, because I don't have enough money right here. Now, I can always reset my wallet, but that won't give me enough because then I can still only have 1,000 cheese bucks. And I really need that 4,000 now. I'm a smart hacker. I've got Burp Suite open in the background, so I can see what requests are being sent. And I can see, oh, I should manage that probably. I can see um, right here, for example, uh, the request being set to reset my wallet, to buy one cheese and to buy four, uh, buy 100 cheese for 4,000 cheese bucks. So all of those requests, okay, that's good, but I as an ethical hacker will immediately start thinking about how can I exploit this? And I can immediately see a few parameters already here. I can see a name, a last name, and a wallet amount. Those are some good candidates to test with. And what am I gonna test for? Now, first I'm gonna do this completely blind. I'm gonna go to my proxy. I'm gonna go reset my wallet and I'm gonna stop the request next time it comes through. So let this one get through Then I'm gonna buy something and I'm gonna put my intercept on and right now I can see that by CB parameter like we saw before now what I can try is I can try user dot amount for example that could be a valid option there we go but as you see that basically did nothing so I can try again but I can try it with some other parameters. I can try, for example, user.wallet, or I can just try wallet. I can try a bunch of different things and setting it to a bunch of different, basically, parameters. So, okay, wallet equals 999. Let's try this one for the last time. And that's not gonna do anything, unfortunately, for us. But I'm going to inspect source code a little bit closer because I really want to know what's going on right here. So as you can see, I have my welcome message right here. And then I can reset my wallet with some checkboxes. I can uh, buy some stuff. And I can also see a user parameter comment right here. And here they say user.amount, user.name, and user.lastname. That's very interesting, of course. Now, you won't always be given this. But you might get this in the response. You might say it might be a um, a response that says user dot amount double point user dot name equals John user dot last name equals though. You know what I mean? And of course, I can copy those parameters to the request itself. Now, if I'm going to try this, I'm going to try this again. But I'm not going to add the user dot this time. Why? Because I know how this works, of course. But if you're testing this for real, you should really be trying all of those different possibilities. So I know that amount is going to be be able to be set. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I do that and I go back, you can see that I actually do finally have enough money to buy 100 cheeses. And it's basically that easy. That's what mass assignment means. It's properties of an object which have been defined but don't really have a definition in the documentation still you can manipulate them in some way and that's a very interesting vulnerability because now i've been able to change my wallet but i'm also able to change my account type possibly um, i can unlock features that are paid there's a lot of different things that I can think of, in which cases this would be a security vulnerability. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave that like because you guys have been this far in the video. So that means you must like something. Thank you very much. 
and I will see you in the next one. Bye, my amazing hacker rats.